Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host Greg and you are joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. I'm not joined by my mom today and I'm kind of sad about that because uh, as a lot of you have mentioned in the comments that uh, you really enjoyed seeing my mom join me for this review. Going solo today. Today, by popular demand, I'm reviewing this. See that? This is Cincinnati's Famous Skyline Chili and Spaghetti. Chili two-way, chili three-way, chili four-way, all, all that good stuff. Now, I have a lot of peeps in Cincinnati, and even those that, have, that aren't in, from Cincinnati or don't currently live there, keep on telling me, they say, Gregory Ng, the frozen food master, I want you to review Skyline Chili. Well, you know what? I found this in my freezer. Uh, my neighborhood grocer. Um, I picked myself up a box. I'm ready to drop this in the microwave and I want to see what the big fuss is all about. Do you like chili? I love chili. Uh, I love red chili. I'm not a fan of the white chili, uh, although I'll eat it. Um, I'm a fan of the red chili. I'm certainly a fan of the spaghetti. Um, and I do have some cheese to drop in there too. So what do you say we put this in the microwave, we'll see how it tastes, and then we'll really put Cincinnati's famous Skyline Chili to the test. Come on. Okay, so we got Skyline Chili. Now like I said, I have tons and tons of people, and I'm not just exaggerating here, at least three people have told me that they want me to try Skyline Chili. Well, you know what, now I have it. Let's see if it's as good as everyone says it is. Now, on the back of the box, it says, Skyline Chili opened up in 1949. Uh, the, his first restaurant overlooking the skyline of Cincinnati, Ohio. That's why the name Skyline Chili. Since then, it has been enjoyed by generations, and the chili continues to be made from Nicholas's original recipe using a secret blend of spices and only the highest quality ingredients. Skyline is dedicated to bring friends to blah, 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 blah. Okay, now, chili. This is technically chili two-way. Chili two-way is the chili and the spaghetti. Now, I have never cooked spaghetti in the microwave, so I'm a little nervous about that. Uh, although, who knows, you never know. Um, now, there is chili three-way, four-way, and five-way. Three-way, I'm gonna add three ounces of shredded cheddar. Four-way is the cheddar plus two teaspoons of onions, and five-way, you add cooked red beans. Now, as this thing is cooking in the microwave for seven minutes, I'm gonna go look in my pantry and see if I have some red beans. Now, I do know I have some cheese. I think I might have some onions, because if I'm gonna go chili, I think if I have the ingredients, I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna go the five way. So, let's open this. Okay, this is what we got here. Looks like a recyclable paper um, with a film. Now, as you can see, that's all mixed together. See that? It's a big garbled mess. It actually, if you hold it like this, kind of looks like an ant farm, right? On the box, we got the nice clean spaghetti and we got the nice clean chili and nice clean cheese already. There's no way I'm getting to that, okay? So that's one, one bad uh, side effect to the frozen version of Skyline Chili. Okay, I'm supposed to cut a, a slit in the film, put it on a microwave safe plate for seven minutes, and then I remove the film. That's it. So, knife. Patented Zorro cut. Microwave safe plate. Put it on there. Seven minutes. Okay, so I've taken this out of the microwave. You can see the steam. I'm using pot holders because this plate is boiling. It's uh, it's volcanic. It hurts so bad to take this out. It's been in there for seven minutes. Um, now, here's, here's what I want to tell you right off the bat. The smell of this, 
um, is like a smell of no other chili I've ever had. Um, and I like it. It smells like a, like a beef stew with a hint of cinnamon or paprika. It's like a sweet and a, and a salty, um, really rich sauce. It smells really, really good. Now, I do want to show you what it looks like. If I can do that, see that? It does not look good. Um, who are we kidding? It looks like, uh, it looks like poop. Um, here's my concern. My concern is, this is what it was supposed to look like. It doesn't look like this. So, we cleared that out of the way, okay? Packaging doesn't look like the real thing. But, you know, we're not uh, trying to, man, it smells good. Um, we are not uh, trying to win any food photography awards here. We want to see how it tastes. And, like I said, a lot of people have been telling me that this tastes good. I have some cheese here. I'm going to add some to it. Unfortunately, I have uh, no onions or no beans. So it looks like we're going chili three-way. Now, before I get started, I want to mention that I am drinking this with Buku Energy Juice, compliments of Energy Drink Guru. So let's drink some of that. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Now, so I've added cheese. I have some chili mixed in. I really should probably let this sit for a couple more minutes because it's probably really hot, but you know what, it smells so good. I'm gonna have to just take my chances. Wow, that's good chili. That's good chili. Oh, it's hot. It's really hot. Okay. Chili. Oh, man. Um, the taste is really good. It's like a, it's like no other chili I've ever tasted. Um, like I said, it's got a rich sauce. It almost tastes like there's alcohol in it. That's how rich it is. Um, it's not like that thick Texas-style chili where it basically looks like, um, like meat gravel. Um, it's not dry. It's wet. Um, it really mixes well uh, with the spaghetti. Now, here's where this thing falls short. This chili, I'm sure, tastes just like the chili you buy at Skyline restaurants in Cincinnati. Uh, and the chili itself is amazing. Now, you don't see any like real big bits of meat. It's basically a mushy sauce. See that? Probably could eat it with a spoon. Um, so. That's kind of, uh, the consistency is not something that I'm used to. However, the taste is unbelievable. It's something that I could definitely consume in high quantity. Where it falls short though is the spaghetti. This spaghetti, uh, it was in the microwave for seven minutes. It's way too mushy. Like I said, this is what it's supposed to look like. That dry, cooked spaghetti with the chili on top. Um, this is like when you have leftover spaghetti and leftover sauce and you mix it in a Tupperware and then you bring it to work the next day. Um, it's way too mushy. That might work for lasagna. doesn't work for spaghetti. So uh, right, right then and there, uh, I understand what Skyline's trying to do by doing a chili two-way. But frankly, they'd be better off just saying, make your own damn spaghetti. They already say, bring your own cheese. So they should just say, make your own spaghetti and drop the frozen uh, chili, cook that, and then put that on top. So I got to dock some points there. Now, everyone has been telling me, Skyline Chili, Skyline Chili, Skyline Chili. I got to say, I like it. I like the Cincinnati style chili. It does, I do pick up a lot of uh, hints of flavor of some uh, more tomato-based Greek dishes and as I was doing uh, some research here the guy who started Skyline is Greek and used a lot of those recipes from Greece so makes sense it's the paprika that I taste and that's the one that that really um, makes this unique this is not like a standard Hormel chili this is definitely a chili that should be consumed by someone who 
is a uh, adventuresome to try new chilies or someone who just loves skyline chili okay so that's that's what I'm talking about for taste now this plate is still really hot seven minutes is a long long time in the microwave and with the inclusion of the spaghetti kind of not as great as it could be I would say that I'm giving the skyline chili and spaghetti three stars three stars mainly because of the chili if the chili was subpar I'd give this two and a half because it's just kind of mushy and not necessarily enjoyable from a textural standpoint. So I'll give this a three stars. Um, Cincinnati's famous Skyline Chili and Spaghetti, Chili Two Way. Once again, my name is Greg. This is another episode of Freezer Burns, and I will see you next time.